Do you want to be able to swap characters like what you're seeing right now and have good lip syncing and body movement tracking? Well, we now have a workflow that uses WAN 2.2 Animate with face and post detection. This allows you to not only follow body movements incredibly well, but also capture mouth movements. So if you have dialogue, this is going to work beautifully. It's perfect for character swapping. Now this workflow is super easy to use, but there are some tips and tricks that will help you get the best results. We did show off another WAN 2.2 Animate workflow before, but out of the box, the lip syncing wasn't as strong. With this workflow, you're gonna see a drastic improvement. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. The way I like to create reference images is by getting a screenshot of myself in the environment where I'm going to be replacing myself. For example, I got this image right here of myself, and then I use a workflow like this one from Nano Banana that's going to replace me in the same environment and likely it's gonna have the same lighting on that new person as well. So for example, let me put something like make him into an alien. All right, so right here we have an alien. I have it has my glasses and what I'm wearing as well. And this is why I like to do it in the same environment that I'm going to be replacing myself in. Because if you notice, look at the lighting, this blue light that's above me, it's, it's coming out right here and also my main light right here and it's coming through on his face right here. It just matches the lighting a lot better so that when you do replace the character, everything's gonna blend a lot better because in the reference image, you got the lighting right. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a reference image. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, copy this image. Then I'm gonna come into my WAN 2.2 Animate workflow and I'm gonna paste my image into here. All right, so there is my reference image. And then uh, you can upload a video or you can even use a webcam, which you can use on your desktop browser if you have your own camera, or you can even do it on your phone and use your camera phone. I'm gonna go ahead and use my camera. My browser is gonna ask for permissions and I'm gonna select the camera that I'm using and also the microphone so I can get audio. And then I'm gonna allow. And here I am. Hello. So I'm gonna go ahead and record myself. I'm gonna make this pretty short and I'm gonna use this as my driving video. And I'm going to start recording now. Hello, I am testing this and doing different facial expressions to see if this is gonna work and it should work. All right, so I have my video there. It's about nine seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and close this now. And then I'm gonna come down here to my settings and for my prompt, I'm just going to put something very basic, an alien with glasses. Sometimes prompting things specific can really help. Uh, just really depends on what you're trying to achieve and what is happening in the original video. For mass expansion, I think I could leave it at 10, but sometimes you do want to increase it. If the character in your source image has, for example, longer hair, like likely this is going to get cut out. So I might have to expand it slightly, but I'm going to test it and see what I get. If something does get cut out, for example, these get cut out, these little bumps here, it happens, especially if someone has longer hair or has like accessories. Sometimes you do have to expand the mask here, but for now I'm going to leave it at 10 and see what we get. And then frame rate, uh, let's leave it at 24. Obviously you can go lower if you want. And for aspect ratio, we have a few options. We have vertical, and horizontal, and we also have lower and higher resolution options. If you have a very long video, then I recommend you go with a low resolution just because if you have it a higher resolution for a longer video, you're likely gonna get a timed out error. So that's why these options are here. If you can go higher, I would recommend it because then your video will be a lot cleaner. I think for nine seconds, I can go high resolution horizontal. And then let's go ahead and run it. Hello, I am testing this and doing different facial expressions to see if this is gonna work and it should work. That actually turned out really, really nice. Yeah, so this worked out good. There's no issues with these uh, extra things that are sticking out, so that's nice. Um, but if you're having issues where like the hair just doesn't seem right, I think I have an example, let me look it up. So here's an example where the mask is too small. In the reference image, I have way longer hair here on the side, but it's not included in this video. Hey, check this out, I can turn my and then when I expanded the mask, you can see all the long hair included. Hey, check this out. I can turn myself into. And I would also recommend whenever possible, make sure that the reference image is as high quality as you can get it. And also don't have the character too far away because then you start to lose the detail and the likeness of the character. Sometimes when you have a reference image and you don't see the rest of the body, it will sometimes give you strange results like this, where the alien has like nail polish and it's, this just looks strange. Like it's like a glove, but not a glove. It's, it's really weird. So the best thing to do in this case is go into Nano Banana, put your reference image in there again, 
if you've already created it, that is, and prompt it in a way where it shows the person's hand, like you're seeing right here. That way, when you run it again in WAN 2.2 Animate, now it knows what the hands should look like and it's gonna give you better results like this. And I'm sure some of you are gonna wanna test replacing a person with an animal, and this is pretty much what you're gonna get. Hey, check this out. I can turn myself into So as you can see, it's not very good, but it is possible, not with this specific workflow, we will have to create another workflow that works better for replacing the person with animals. So look out for that in the future. And there you have it. WAN 2.2 Animate is such a powerful tool and it's gonna help you with swapping characters. And I know this is gonna be super useful for many of you. We have many more tutorials coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned with the latest AI models and workflows. Until next time, take care.